<laughs> hey, thanks for sharing your plan. Got it open in, uh, on my computer. i do an overview. I assume you have uh, Home Designer Pro. Let's see. Let me take a look. I just forgot to look. Yeah, okay. Home Designer Pro 2020. Very good. Okay, we'll zoom in, <clears throat> excuse me, and take a look. I'm not able to do anything yet. I don't know exactly what's going on. I don't have that icon yet. Oh, I see. Now I understand. There was a there was the uh, dialog box on my other monitor. Okay. So what Eric said to do is just to uh, fix this with the manual tool. Just click on the join roofs tool. Oh, you've got auto build roofs on. Let me turn that off. I didn't, I never use, rarely ever use that. So I'm going to turn that off. Now I'll click on that, join roofs tool, left click on the other roof plane and see what it does. Okay, it's not, I'm going to go back to plan view and take a closer look at this. So that's the one that's not connecting. Oh, and it's not connecting because of this wall here. So you would take the break line tool and go around that wall, put a break there. Whoops, didn't, didn't try it again. I ah, see, I want to select this roof plane. Left click on the break line tool. There we go, I got it to work that time. So you have to take it outside the wall and go around that corner. And then up close there. And now when I order this to uh, connect, it'll probably connect. Didn't, we'll try it again. Okay, again, it's probably the wall being here, which is causing a problem. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other roof plane to go around the wall corner there. Put a break. There we go. I'm going to pull that up like that, select that edge, and do the join roofs command again. Okay, and it worked this time. Software is pre-programmed to uh, have affinity for existing walls, and that, and it was just following its pre-programming around uh, Okay, I'm just looking for anything else. It's, I'm going to go back to the overview and see what it looks like now. Okay, that closed up. But this roof plane being too close to this wall is shaving off some of its layers. So we we'll just click on that and pull it away from that wall so that that wall can, yeah, there we go. And it's kind of hard to communicate that in uh, via the re reference manual. I know from hours and hours of trying to figure out why the program is doing something. Now this won't go over there because of the, again, because of the wall. So it's gonna stop there. Look at it from the other side. Okay. Click on that and move it over a little closer. 
That looks a little better. And commonly you can't click on these uh, ridge caps because that layer by default is blocked. I'm going to open layer display options and uh, it opened on my other monitor. <clears throat> we'll go down to roofs and see if I can find bridge caps. There it is. See, it's blocked. I'm going to unlock it. This is fun. I, I rarely ever do this, but you now I can select it. I'm going to move it over. Yeah. I understand. We'll say yes. Yeah, okay. I cleaned that up a little bit. But you can't pull it through a wall corner. Uh, you, even if you could, I, I wouldn't recommend that you try that because you'll get, again, unsightly results. I think that's about it. And you, with manual roofs, you have, to, you, you have to learn and use the manual roof tools. And that's just the long and short of it. You want something perfect, oftentimes you have to make it perfect. Anyway, I hope this uh, helps you, and thanks for watching. Have a good day.